Hello friends, it's Wednesday and you're sitting on top of my coffee right now so I won't be filming in here for too long. But I'm about to get ready and I wanted to give you guys an update on my like weight loss after um, having Adeline. I'm 14 weeks postpartum today and I weighed in today at 130. That's the weight that I was at um, when we went on our cruise and I had to work so hard. You guys know it took me about eight months I think. To get back down to that weight with my trainer Amber and I had to work my butt off and um, this time it's come fairly easily and that's because of how much I worked out during pregnancy and like how I was eating like on point during my whole pregnancy well most of my pregnancy since having Adeline I haven't worked out at all I've gone on like literally one walk since I had her and so I attribute losing the weight so fast to breastfeeding of course but also just because I think I only gained around 25 or so pounds this time I don't remember um, but it was much less than with Skyla. Once Adeline gets a little bit bigger I'll join a gym again and take them to the gym kids club to play while I work out but right now she's so small that I don't like feel comfortable yet taking her. Hi baby! Wanna say hi? Say hello I have banana all over my mouth. Banana all over you. What are you doing? Hmm? Huh? What are you and Daddy doing? You need to wipe your face off, don't we? Skyla is always wanting to put makeup on whenever I do my makeup. It's so funny. <laughs> Is that you? We need a bit of hair tie in your hair. You're always a wild woman when you wake up. Nick goes and gets Skyla in the mornings now that he's home. And he never puts her hair out of her face. And she'll like come in the room and just have like her hair completely in her face. Um, I'm wearing the new festival lip stuff. But I feel like it like sticks together. Did somebody wake up from their nap? Yeah? Did you have a good nap? You did. I've got stuff to put away. Mommy's got a lot of stuff to put in your closet. But know that in the darkest hour, right there in the deepest night, I'm gonna try to make it right. And I'll take your pain, baby. I'll wear it out. No need to hide, baby. No need to doubt. When you face a closing door, I'll be showing you so much more. When you need it, when you need it, know that I'll be around that even. When you need it, when you need it, when you need it. <laughs> I forget to use a burp cloth every single time I burp her and this happens every single time. When will I learn that before I start feeding to grab a burp cloth? <laughs> you know that Better Than Sex mascara always gives me like lines, like it uh, transfers every time. Today's been wild, like the amount of stuff that we've been doing today is wild. We're going out to run a couple errands because we have some things we need to get. Um, I'm loving having Nick home, I just wanna say that it's like everything. I'm gonna plug this in my car. The good thing about the Ford Explorer is that it has a regular plug, so if you have something like this, you can plug it in. We ran to Ulta first because I needed to get some setting powder and they didn't have the one I wanted. So I'm gonna try this. Let me know if you guys have used this, the Urban Decay Velvetizer. Um, I think it's a translucent mix in medium, so you mix it in with your foundation. I thought it would be cool to try at least. I've, I love trying new stuff, you guys know that. So that's what I got. Nick's putting together the stall right now so that we can go inside Target. 
we forgot to grab a cart. Look how good she's being, guys. All her hair is coming out. Like, she's going bald. So opposite of Skyla, who had like dark black long hair from the very beginning. These glittery shoes are from Target. Rochelle's daughter had them, and so I had to order them because they're so cute. And I got the cart. How am I going to do this? There's your beer aisle right there. Skyla, have you been singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star? Twinkle, Twinkle. Sing it. Good job. Yes. Tell me why it was super hot and now it's super cold. It's freezing today. I'm gonna get some of my unicorn water antibacterial gel here. Rub all those germs around. Get them all nice and dead. All up in those crevices. So that's a little loud monkey. She turns her iPad all the way to the max. You're okay, baby. What do you have? A bag of nuts? No, her little muffins. You, you're eating one of those confetti muffins? I don't yeah. know if I can have one. I think I have dairy. That's too bad. Let me see. Oh, they're good. Milk. Whey. It's like one of the top ingredients. It's so frustrating. Let's go get something to eat. You don't want to cook? Not really. It's already 8 o'clock. I would like a number one spicy, please. For one spicy, please. Diet lemonade. With a number one, what I'm sorry? Uh, a number one, uh, but spicy with okay. a diet lemonade, a zesty buffalo sauce, honey mustard, spicy sriracha. Make sure we get our sauce. You want coco? Huh? Coco. coco. That's right. She said coco. <laughs> she goes co. Co. Oh, that was so cute. Can you say mariachi? Shame on you, mariachi. Adeline, I don't know how many times I have to tell you you're too young for Chick-fil-A. We should have went to KFC. Back before I married you, I get a full bucket of chicken, feed like a family of eight or nine, sit there and watch Red Zone, NFL Red Zone all day long. Hey Nick, I'm reading some questions for you on Twitter right now. And one of them is, how many kids do you want? Probably half a dozen. How many is in a baker's dozen? Or is a baker's dozen 24? How did you know I was the one? I asked you if you wanted to jump in my car and you said yes. I saw a little butterfly tattoo. The night before I was dreaming of butterflies, I saw your toe and it was mangled. sat there and looked at all the work that I had done and I was like, holy shit, I ain't never doing this again. What is your job? What's your career? House dad. House dad. Nick is, he's, he's working on a sandwich right now, so I'll just tell you, he's a regional director for a company that designs and manufactures office furniture. Did I get that right? Yep, you said it better than I could. Sweet thing. <coughs> Good job. There we go. Good job. Is that better? So it's 9.30 and this is usually about the time that my contacts start burning and my eyes start watering. 
but we stopped to put Skyla and Adeline to bed and to um, take everything in from the store and put everything away and like get cleaned up. We're about to go um, like watch a TV show or something or a movie in bed. But I wanted to answer, or I wanted to have Nick answer just a couple of these questions that I have coming in on Twitter um, because I said that I would. So, where do you see yourself in five years? On a beach. You'll be 34, so where do you see yourself at 34? I see myself as a strong willed, successful father and husband to a YouTube sensation. <laughs> you wanna be a stay-at-home dad? Yep. <laughs> Shut up. I um, cook HelloFresh like it went out of style. <laughs> okay, what's your dream car? Ford Festiva, 1993. <laughs> what? Nick, what is your real dream car? I actually had a friend that drove a Ford Festiva. F-250 King Ranch. Maroon. What's my dream car? Uh, let's see, you probably wanna... I, I don't know what any minivans are called, so I just <laughs> ruined my joke. If I knew, if I had a minivan, I would've said it, but no offense to any any mothers that drive minivans are very, think... they're a very economical car. They're low to the ground, easy to get in and out of, hold a lot of groceries, I get it. I'm not blaming you. What is my dream car? An Infinity. Which one? Uh, the most expensive one. <laughs> the G7X. No, it's not. Yeah, it's the G7X. No, oh, no, that's it. my camera. It's the... What is it? <laughs> You're just making up names. <laughs> Which one is it? It's a QX80. Yeah, that's right. Or X80 or Q80 or something. I don't know. Allegiant tweeted me. We'd love the chance to impress you, Aaron. Hop on board with us. The sunshine is calling. Nice. Uh, would you consider hey, a sister wife? The ball's wife? in your court, Allegiant. <laughs> would you consider a sister wife? Nick, don't even answer that. Just... A sister wife? What's that? I think it's where you have multiple wives. Hey, anything's on the table. This okay. is 2018. No. <laughs> oh, what other name suits your wife? Like, if you didn't know me, what would you think my name was? Because he thinks my name is Manly. What would I think your name is? Yeah, like, if you didn't know me, like, what would you assume my name was? Like, if you didn't know my name was Aaron and you just met me, what would you think it was? Gertrude. <laughs> Roseanne. Okay, I'm done with you. Why can't you ask any sort of, like, why can't you answer any sort Probably, of... Probably, you look like a Catherine or a cat. Like, something with a... <laughs> What do you think about Aaron's feet? Were you aware they have an internet following? I have a wiki feet page. Yeah, I, the, her foot was from the first memory that I had with her. And not in a good way, and not in the way that you guys are thinking. It was hideous. It was the ugliest thing I've ever seen. You gotta put them down to reel them in. What does that mean? I don't know, I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite cousin? Whoa, who said that? You have to answer before I show you. I'm not answering that question. I don't know which cousin said that. <laughs> just, just. I'm going to say Brandy probably said that. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. You are my favorite cousin, Brandy. Do you like Georgia more than Texas? Uh, I like Georgia. I already uh, know this Texas. question, yeah. What's been the biggest adjustment for you having two under two? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh probably God, probably on the weekends where you know I can't can't go out to the shooting range or golf course. Or... Yeah, you can. Okay. You can. Last weekend you go, can I go to the gun range? And I said yes, and then you just didn't we go. We have too much stuff to do, though. Yeah, I know we do, but you said, remember last weekend you go, I want to go to the gun range on Saturday, Sunday. I said, that's mm -hmm. fine. And then you just didn't go. That's on you, not me. Okay. So probably you have all these ideas and it's like, you know what, I don't really want to go. Why? Because you want to be with the girls? Yep. Aww. What's your favorite sport to watch? Uh, football. College football. 
Am I really, yeah. am I really as beautiful in person? Uh, no, she has a lot of lighting around her for these cameras. <laughs> and, <laughs> yes, she's more beautiful in real life. Oh, Nick, that's nice. Do you ever get embarrassed at work or in your personal life about me vlogging and sharing our family with the world? No. The only time I get embarrassed is when she sticks the camera in my face at the grocery store <laughs> and I have Rhonda over here <laughs> snooping around, like acting we... like she's reading the ingredients on the box back of a cereal box. How bad do you want your next baby to be a boy? Well... I have two girls and I love them to death. Are you a fan of vlogging and having your life and family on display? Um, yes, I am a fan of vlogging. I am okay with having my life and our life on display. I, it's a little outside my comfort zone, but. Mine too. I mean. But I'm getting used to it and. I mean, it's outside my comfort zone too, don't you think? Yeah. It's outside it both of our comfort zones. you realize how zone. truly awful some people are. Yeah, that's true. Oh, honey, I love you. Mm. You're such a good husband. I love you too. Um, and how some people have time to just sit there. <laughs> okay, okay, no more. <laughs> hate on people. Like... If I don't like something, I just don't click watch out. it. Yeah, I just click out and go to something I do like. Okay, but so you people, Nick, that's not. Let's not. Let's you not. people Stop. will watch a two-hour YouTube channel. Two hours of somebody that you don't like, and then rip them apart, and then spend your entire okay TV dinner meal. <laughs> if you switched roles and Nick had a YouTube channel, what would it be about? Outdoor adventures. I want him to do it so bad. I think you should do it. I'll, I'll, I'll coin a term that's stolen from Aaron's stepdad. It'd be Boondoggling. boondoggles. It'd be a lot of hunting, a lot of fishing, a lot of shooting, a lot of backwoods sports. Nick, have you thought about going blonde? I went blonde. He had frosted tips. When I was in fifth grade, my friend's mom, uh, she Frosted was your tips? And then I went even a step further and I did a bowl cut and I bleached the top and left the sides black. <laughs> what are you the proudest of other than, other than your family? Uh, other than my family? Yeah. Hmm. I don't like that question. Okay. I'm only proud of my family. Oh, Nick, that's sweet. What are you the proudest of Aaron for doing other than being a mom? Hmm? What is Nick proudest of Aaron for doing other than being a mom? Uh, her YouTube channel. You're proud of my YouTube channel? I'm proud of how, re regardless of all the crap I gave you when you started it, you stuck through and now you're throwing it back in my face <laughs> when I started he just thought that it was such a joke and like like most people don't understand that YouTube is like a career and Nick was one of them is Skyla a mommy's girl or a daddy's girl hmm, daddy's girl yeah oh have you come to terms with all of the boxes of glitter in your basement that has 14 likes how did they know about that? Because I tweeted about it the other day, about you being like, why are there so many boxes of glitter? Oh, that's in the center of the basement. You're going to sift through that and we're getting rid of it. What are your two favorite non-physical characteristics of your wife? Non-physical? Mm-hmm. Well, you're very hard-headed and strong, willed. Yeah. And even though that's a pain in the ass sometimes, it's also yeah. a good trait. I'm kind of a wuss. And, and I, I go with the flow. What's the second one? And the You're second not a one. wuss. I know what the other one is. <clears throat> you tell it to me all the time. What? You tell it to me all the time. You're funny. No. Looking. 
<laughs> no, the other night we were talking and you were like... You don't care what other people think about you. And Sometimes I do. I mean, for the most part, I think if you're a YouTuber, you can't really care what people think about you. Ha, 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 as Skyla would say. <laughs> what do you think of the hashtag Nick needs a break? Nick does need a break. Nick needs like three or four breaks a day. <laughs> We're going to make sure. Or a coffee mug that says Nick needs a break. The mug club. Nick's mug club. Yeah. Mug club. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go watch a TV show or a movie or something now, even no, though it's we're not. ten. We're going downstairs. So you can go through Someone said, later. "Did Nick ever get that break?" Nope. He gets all the breaks. Getting my hair done finally for the first time after being induced with Skyla. This is my hair salon, Rum Color Studio. It's the absolute best. Thursday night and there's not going to be a vlog going up on Friday unless for some reason this one takes me until Friday to get up but the reason is because today my hair took from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. so that's all I did today so I didn't I didn't vlog so I don't have content for tomorrow to go up. so I'll see you guys on Monday with the weekend vlog and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and check out the links below and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.